Hi everyone, welcome to the Baguette Investor channel. Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to this new weekly update video where I review my portfolio valuation and make some TA about the market to tell you how I feel. So we're going to start right now with my portfolio valuation. That is going down substantially. I'll talk to you a little bit about that later. What we see is that I lost um, 60% of my portfolio valuation this week it hurts a little bit but i'm reducing more and more my position taking profits because i see the market losing strength so i'm starting to get out of the market because i think the market is turning um, on the bearish side at least for bitcoin i will tell you a little bit more about that on the ta uh, of the, the the ta section of the video but there you can see that at the top of my portfolio, I made 30,000 uh, euros in, in profits. I'm talking about only profits. And now I'm only at 16. So I lost half of the profits I had on at p &L. So it's a little bit sad. In the next videos of the week, I will explain to you um, how I'm going to improve in the future um, my profit taking to not give back those profits to the market because I could have made... Uh, much better decisions to keep the profits I made and be at a higher uh, valuation right now. I'll explain that in the in the next videos of the week. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for being notified in the future for the the, two, the videos that will re be released. I release three videos every week: one weekly update on Monday, and two tutorial videos in Wednesday and Friday. So if you're interested into that, you can subscribe. So this is my portfolio valuation. This is to be 100% transparent with you. Let's get to the TA. So this is a Bitcoin weekly chart. As you can see, it's not looking good at all. It looks much more like a top than it looks like a consolidation. We have a bearish engulfing on last week candle. This is not good for us. If we print my drawings, we can see that I got out of Bitcoin. I sold, I took my profits on the Bitcoin I bought when it was at 13, 13k. It's a good trade, it's a 250% profit. I'm enjoying it. Um, now if we zoom in on the daily, you can see why I entered on the green um, point here and, and X and sold on the red point here. So I'm only 100% uh, transparent with you. I sold my Bitcoin. I, it's not about the market's going to crash or it's going to go up again. It's a matter of I like taking profits here because I think the risk of holding my Bitcoin is higher than the risk of uh, not having them, of having dollars. So if it goes up again, I'll just enter again. If I see a new setup, it's not a problem. It's much better to be relaxed, to have your mind relaxed than it is to be stressed out by the market. So what I'm willing to do is not to be stressed. It's much more important for me. So if you see the daily, you can see that I was starting to get worried. We made um, high, then we made a low, and there we made a lower high. That's a sign of a weakening trend. And there we're making a new low. So that's why I'm being confident into the bearish sentiment that's setting up to the market. If you look at the daily, you can see that we broke down this level with a, lo a little bit of strength. And now the four hour is getting some people will say that this is bullish. Yeah, this is bullish because we can see that the bearish momentum is starting to to get weak. But what we can mostly see is a retest of this area. And then if it goes down, this is going to be what I think it's going to happen, but I don't trade what I think is going to happen, I trade the chart, so I'll see what happens. If we get back and retest this area, maybe we're going to go up and, I don't know, make consolidation and get to a new bull market. We don't know, we trade what we see on the graph, we trade. We do not trade what we expect to see. So right now, I'm short on Bitcoin. If you want to see my trade, I'll show it to you. It's on the Binance, uh, Binance chart, so you can see my short. I uh, it's not a, the, the green line here is not a take profit. I did not make take profit. I'll exit the position when I think I need to exit. Now I'm at break even, so it means I lower my stop loss so I don't risk losing any more money. Let's uh, analyze the indexes on altcoins. So if you're not familiar with what an index is, it's simply a, a chunk of stocks or crypto or anything that piled together to give you a number that will reflect the 
movements, the price movements of the underlying assets. So this is the altcoin index and it shows the underlying asset is biggest capitalization altcoin. So it's like the biggest altcoins. I always tell Ethereum, DOT, Cardano, all that stuff. And you can see that it's not in the bear market yet, but it's looking very, very bad because we can see a weakening trend. So you can see this wave was very strong. Then we had the second wave that was weaker. And then we had the third wave that was very, very, very weak now. And this is this should alert you telling you that what we call momentum is getting lower and lower and what I see really here is this level of the white line and if it, we close the daily below I'll exit a lot of my altcoin um, positions even if I exited a lot of them because they they broke um, top market structures uh, down so right now I'm ex I'm out of most of my big big capitalization or coin position but the small capitalization are not yet to be fully bearish so we'll see what happens but i'm extremely careful here i'm no longer bullish i am neutral on all coins but i think there is a very high probability that we get to close below this level so i again i don't trade what i expect i trade what i see on the chart so i wait for the chart to tell me to to take a decision this is the same for mid caps this is mid cap altcoin and this is the same for small caps small caps altcoin are looking neither bad or good they're in a range market but you know that in crypto when the breakout happens it can go down really fast so if you're scared about drops i suggest that you manage your risk and that you put yourself in a position where you can uh, you know support what's going to happen because you need to be ready Anything can really happen in this market and if you're not familiar with the concept of black swans you should be ready to be confronted to anything at any time in markets. So yeah, this is my views on the markets. Uh, as I told you, I exited most of my all coin positions. I only have these positions remaining. So this is both last, both are short on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, I did not talk about Ethereum. I, I will talk about Ethereum for a second uh, if you look at ethereum you you need to understand that sometimes things need to correct and that ethereum right now is looking like it's more likely to correct than it is to make another 2x on the weekly on the daily i see that it broke a reversal pattern i had a shit entry on my short position because well i'm not the best at timing i'm still working on my my timing but yeah it broke down this what I would call that is M top, but you, you would call that whatever you want. It's just that you can see momentum is getting more and more present on the downside and then it broke down. Maybe it will retest, but I think if it will eventually go down. I'm betting that it will go down. I, I put my money where I put my words, but it's not investment advice. Again, it's up to you. You trade your strategies, your setups. I'm just telling you that I think Ethereum is due for a correction, judging on the market sentiment. But I think the correction will only be starting when the indexes are going to break their lows. As I told about you, the index, you can see that Ethereum broke down this pattern, but the altcoin index did not. So we're still in the range market for indexes. We're not in the big correction. But I mean, if we do get into a correction market, you can see that there is plenty of room for the market to correct. And well, would it stop if it goes down? No one knows. I just want to be there for when the market makes a bottom. Let's say it bottoms like that and it makes a bottom with a bullish divergence on the RSI. Then it goes for a retest and then boom, I'll enter when I see strength again. I don't try to catch falling knives. And yeah, that's that's it. I think I gave my, my views on the market. Hope you are not scared about what's happening if you are please try to set yourself in st into a position where you're no longer scared try to manage your emotions try to manage your positions your money the the biggest and the most important thing to do is not to lose money as i did i i'm still in profits so i no longer fear losing money on my capital i fear losing gains and that's yet, yet that's still that's the bad tool to lose gains, but it's much better to lose gains than to lose your initial capital. So yeah, please try to be careful about what you're doing. If you want to use stop losses, you can. 
in crypto it's not maybe the best thing because of the liquidity if you want to reduce your risk you can check my other videos that tell you about risk management and that's it see you in the next videos uh, hope you will succeed in your trading goodbye thank you so much for watching